out there so the Westport Fire Department could save me. The Westport Fire Department conducted their last ice rescue training session on January 24th and allowed me to strap on a dry suit and act as the victim waiting rescue. Before getting into the water, I was put into a Mustang suit which acts as a flotation device and also traps air, protecting the firefighter from water if worn properly. I decided to wear my knit cap while under the suit which would prove a stake. Lieutenant Robert Yost, a veteran of ICE rescue missions, told me how to walk onto the ice and get into the open water. He told me that I could stay afloat in the Mustang suit without holding onto the ice. It took me a while to gain my footing in the suit. I felt like Randy Parker in A Christmas Story when his mother packed him into a stuffy snowsuit. I was hooked onto a cord which was held by some firefighters and I made my way out onto the ice. Normally walking onto the ice would be a frightening experience, but I felt safe in the Mustang suit, even with a cold breeze. Blowing in from the Campo Beach Basin, it felt warm in the suit. During my second run through as the so-called victim, the firefighters told me to roll out into the area in which I was tread water. I held the cord I was attached to above my head and rolled out like a log into the water. I finally arrived into the open water and floated, awaiting my rescue. For a moment, while I was in the water, my face submerged in the water up to my chin. Firefighter Brendan McHugh quickly made his way through the ice with the rescue sled and hooked a harness around my back and helped me onto the sled. When McHugh pulled me out, I felt wet. The water had trickled down my chin and onto my shirt and my pants. The water had leaked into the dry suit because I decided to wear my knit hat. The firefighters on the other end tugged the cables until I glided across the ice on a sled and we reached the shore. <laughs> 